Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very exciting video. Today I'm creating this beautiful look on my face today, something cute and vintage inspired because today we are playing with the ColourPop and Jasmine Chiswell collection. If you're not familiar with Jasmine, she's a popular TikToker. She is known for her vintage style and of course, her resemblance to Miss Marilyn Monroe herself. And she and ColourPop collab to create this beautiful vintage Hollywood inspired collection. We have quite a few fun pieces and I can't wait to share. So let's get into it. When I tell you I was excited about this collection, I was excited. I love dressing in vintage clothes. I have this cute little vintage number on today, but there's lots of fun stuff to play with. This is a cute mini collection. So we have two five pan palettes, two little glosses, and three lip duos. So for the palettes, they come in this cute little plastic packaging. We have Such a Starlet, which is in this cream. And this one is more pinky shades. And then we have Hello Hollywood, which comes in the pink packaging and has the more mattes and pop of blue. For the two glosses, we have a red sparkly gloss and more of a mauvey pink sparkly gloss. And for the lip duos, we have, of course, the iconic red Marilyn Monroe lip. We have a pink lip and we have more of a neutrally mauve lip. I almost want to do just a straight up wash of blue as my look today. So I'm going to go into Hello Hollywood and I'm just going to put silver screen, which is the matte white all over my lid to set my concealer. I'm not using an eye primer today. I was just feeling a little lazy. So we are going to go ahead and set my concealer with this white. This is one of the most pigmented white shadows I have ever used. And it's a ColourPop shade. What are the odds? Next, I'm gonna go into the blue shade Cinema, just on that same fluffy brush, and I'm gonna start packing that all over the lid right on top of the white shade. The blue is definitely taking a hot second to build up, but there's nothing wrong with that. It is just natural for pastel shades to take a little bit of extra work. Taking a clean, fluffy blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and just buff those edges to make sure there is no harsh lines. Now taking a Sigma E49, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Bombshell, which is this slightly darker brown color. And I'm just going to start using that to shade the outer corner of my eyelid, just to add a little bit of definition right there in the corner. I plan on doing a little baby wing. So I'm gonna take this BH brush and Picture Show, which is the deep brown. And I'm just going to very lightly flick that on my lower lash line just to add a little bit of smoke. So when I put the liner on, it's not just a harsh line. For liner, I'm using my Fenty Fly Liner. I'm just going to do a little baby wing. I don't want anything crazy. I'm switching over to my Rum Beauty one because the Fenty one, I think I messed the very tip of the eyeliner up. Sisters, not twins. This will work for the eyeliner. I'm going to go into my Lunar Beauty E5 and I'm going to go back into that blue shade and I'm just going to start buffing that on my lower lash line. And taking a clean blending brush, I'm going to go into Golden Girl, which is this light cream matte with a hint of sparkle. And I'm just going to kind of clean up underneath that shade just so there's nothing crazy. I really want this look to just feel simple because I feel like vintage makeup is very simple in itself. So I'm just trying to mimic modern slash vintage makeup styles. For eyeliner, I'm gonna go into my Rem Beauty So Mod White Eyeliner and I'm just going to pop that in my lower waterline. For my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go into Silver Screen, which is that matte white. I'm just going to pop that in the inner corners. And then I'm also gonna tap into the Such a Starlet palette and I'm gonna go into Sultry, which is this white shimmer. And I'm just going to very gently dust that on top of the matte white just to give it a tiny bit of sparkle. For mascara, I'm gonna go into my Benefit Bad Gal Bang Waterproof Mascara, and I actually wanna try one of those mascara trends right now where you take the tweezers and pinch the lower lashes to kind of give it like spider effect.
Definitely not sure how I feel about the mascara, but I really like the eye look so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do some blush and highlight and we'll move on to the lip products. For blush, I went into my Pat McGrath Flirtatious Blush. This is a holy grail. And then for highlight, I just went into MAC Light Scapade, a very natural everyday option. And I just wanted to keep this look very simple. So now let's go ahead and hop into lip products. I think I wanna go all out and try the red lip. I can't remember the last time I did a red lip. I think it might've been my Star Wars look forever ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Sex Appeal, which is this really pretty true red and then the matching liner is in the shade Beverly Bungalow. This is the lip duo. I actually really like this combo. I feel like the lip liner is just a hint darker than the lipstick, so it adds just the right amount of definition to the lips. I am very intrigued by the gloss though, so I do think I'm gonna go into the red sparkle gloss, which is called Glamour Shot, and I'm just gonna pop that on top. And this is the final look. I actually really enjoy it. It is very simple, very quick and easy, but I really wanted to play with some of these vintage inspired pieces. And I feel like it matches my dress and my outfit very perfectly. Overall, I had so much fun playing with this collection. Very happy with it. Congratulations to Jasmine for such a great launch. And I can't wait to see what ColourPop comes out with in the future. And with that, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye friends.